great, 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 I am. Welcome, once more. So last time I decided that it's a great idea for me to just drop the whole stream just so I can play uh, my job with some folks, uh, you know, on the computer. Very well then, um, now, I guess it's a good time for me now to get to, uh, and I don't know really. Well, let's all think of something. But, you know, and since uh, I'm already here, we're gonna start uh, our stuff, uh, you know, trying to play, trying to do the thing that I was doing before I decided to just play Mahjong. Yeah, we're gonna continue on with the whole card, the whole card talk. Uh, luckily, uh, uh, during the uh, the fallout, the, the at least when I was gone, only one new uh, project came to be and came to existence. And uh, given that like there's nothing worth uh, going crazy for, like right now or whatever or whomever, uh, well, here I am, I guess. So. I'm still busy doing some promoting, because, uh, you know, hey, that's it. Do that. But given that there's only, like, one new project to go before I can do the usual catching up, I don't give a flip. Hey there, Shira Carly. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a podcast, so thank you so much. Uh, thanks for dropping by. I'm help you. And here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm still doing some promotion This might take, this, this might indeed take a while, but not too long. I guess just need to do the other fuck, you know, control F and control C, control V. Then I can uh, get back to whatever I'm supposed to do in this uh, wonderful day, time of day, which is this. I, I could be listening to some radio shows, but I decided against that. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. So, in, so let's see. I don't know. Okay, we'll do the first one. We'll do the uh, new one. Just so, because I... You know, just for the sake of completion, I'm just really, like, excited, or at least I'm really hyped up to t to, to look at the, <laughs> the... Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, the... <laughs> Man, what am I supposed to do again? Yeah. Um, what am I going to do? Help me. Okay, let's. Okay, uh, let me just check some more. Okay, dokie. Let us begin. Voila. Yeah, I, 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 I immediately exported the uh, the video from yesterday, so that I don't have to, so that you know I don't have to repeat everything and just have to see the archive, the glorious archive. So we'll do palmistry and then we'll continue with this jam pack nine in one, which is just great because yeah, multi decks, yeah. And just like last time, we're not gonna play the. I'm not gonna play any bits. Hey everyone, so good to be back again and see you called here at the Chamber of Wonder. And let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Tong Xiong and I'm a magician based in Toronto, Canada. I've been doing magic for the last seven years and love every ounce of it. My fellow friends could always tell that I have a passion for playing cards, and I believe the type of magician's dream to create their own deck of playing cards. True. I've created previous projects such as the Secret Playing. Cards and Zeus playing cards. This time, allow me to introduce you to mysterious arts of palm mystery. Oh gosh, not that. Oh boy, divination, my favorite topic. <sighs> the ability to read palms has always fascinated me. In my country, where I grew up, fortunately for the main roots of our culture, to be able to give people insight and make them feel emotions, I think palm is the same purpose as magic. I think it's more than that, but let's just skip to it, because... <laughs> anyway, seriously. Well, I, I just love how it just stops there. You, generally, this paragraph has a follow-up, but alas, we're heading straight to the card details. Three different foils, each tuck case, or in silver, black, fully embossed tuck case, each shiny card with black floss. Both edition tuck cases made premium math, yeah, one, one five. Okay, golden ivory and silver sable. Which is which? The Taiwan luxury okay. Pip, custom pips, tuck cases. It's more to more is mm -hmm. to me it's more than block cares like that the piece of art which showcases all the beauty in the old or palmistry. The front of the tuck case mimics a piece of various which you would see outside the Fortune Tower's office. 
in the 1970s. <laughs> and Tiger Sanks was classified as the only slot. The folk borders in the province are running Kentucky and Sarkis pulled after four minutes. Stayed in the ocean mills, what makes the whole piece complete. On the back of the tuck case, you will see the state of our back design looks like. That's generally what the that's generally what those things are for, right? Like the whole the whole don't put the whole nothing at the back thing is like a, such a modern design deck. Like every other deck, well, mostly bicycle made ones would have a, like a previous to it, or at least most of the time. Oh, well, whatever. While we keep the elegant borders in front of the tuck case, the back of the tuck case is usually multiple palms to make a playing card feature. A personal favorite card is like the old surrounding palm of the roses. This improvises the young girls' looking to feature all the minds of as a kid. Okay. Most of the others have just space in the tuck case. What? On the work at the inside of the tuck case. That, this is nothing new. Below you can see a flat tuck case with all the mystical illustrations that look like a fortune telling, and you can see them carefully if you ruin the stupid thing or you like view of them through such an awkward lens. Inside, look, inside printing and playing card boxes are is a flex. That's basically it. I mean, they'd be nice, but like, who the heck would just stare inside the thing and they call it, yeah, this is lost. That would be good. Not a lot. Not everyone. Anyway, where was I? Uh. <laughs> Uh, where was I? Yeah, back design. Got in the taste. Oh no, not this style. Uh, it's just it's it's just a different palette swap. Please. Volume edition is suitable for every character. If you prefer more low profile design, it's this. For a more vivid look, it's this. It's just. Mm. Hey guys, uh, look at these two great decks. They're they're practically the same, but for like one of them, we did we replaced the black with cream. And also, like, we built the st and instead of it looking like a chalkboard drawing, it now looks like something out of a Greek restaurant. Okay, Greek restaurant is actually very wrong, because if it were a Greek restaurant, this would be the border for you. But she, but she got what I mean. The white boards on the side make a perfect deck for me to perform magic. And yes, it, it, that's usually what the magician deck ought to be. <laughs> uh, it, no one's no, no one's complaining about the fact that this deck won't be card this exclusive. It's fine. And I say this artboard's okay. We stay with more care decks for the next year. Uh, definitely not the bias assessment. Hmm. Court cards, uh, most of them look at this. You know, I kept additional court cards again to make over the chorus lines and the, the character. Not much about the the but not much about the palmist theme then, huh? The you'd think they would have like something about like tacky fortune telling theme like you, like um some a deck by someone else with a theme of palmistry would have made every single court in this deck a freaking fortune teller. You fucked this up. You missed an opportunity. Okay, the the one time where I the, the one time I expected some tacky tackily themed uh court cards and you didn't do it. They're great, I mean, you know, they're great courts, but they're in the wrong deck of cards. I'd buy some colors today. Make sure which card is in any direction. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a non-issue. It's a non-issue. I guess for a magician it is, but... You know, if, um, if your audience can't, like, see the card you're... The card you want to show that's on you. Anyways, the aces are more handy. But you'd think you'd think there would be themes about the open palm about this stuff, right? Like these are the hands I'd these are the hand these are the whole hand the poses of a freaking you know of a Buddha or some stuff or some Hindi related thing. It's not very palmy, is it? Like, there's only one palm shot over here. This one's like obscured. Come on now. I mean, you may there's a palm. Palm is too nice. Palm is too freaking. Palm is too specific a word for this to be for you to get away with. Okay. 
these are just hands ah. these are just freaking hands I would I will die on this hill <laughs> I am I such a pedant about this oh wait that's the well that's the name of the game two to numbers are just plain perfect mystical world. Yeah, I'm having an eye with a pip, yeah. Illuminati. Jokers are this one. This one's actual. This one's more palmy. And yet, it's only the Jokers. I hate you. With a danger element. Did the vulnerable hand? What if I can definitely make you use of a unique cloak? I've seen this. I've, I probably have seen this design in a tattoo somewhere. I don't. You're not. You're, this is not transgressive stuff you're doing here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone made a fan of it, something like that. It's like the deepest shit you'd, you'd seen if you're like a 12 year old in 2007. Okay. <laughs> Alright, man, look at my. Man, this is not Oh, yeah, they, oh, they tough stuff. So, Gilded Editions are separate, so. Perfect over 20. I'm not knowing out that. So, that's the thing. I know it's. I don't know it. It does not feel palmist. Like it's only that and this thing here. But you cannot. You, you. It's not obvious that it's supposed to be themed about. I don't know palmistry, fortune telling. It's not there at all. It does have this esoteric kind of style stuff, but I. I thought just me, but like you know, the mystical things aren't exactly like exclusive to fortune telling. So, there, there feel, there's supposed to be a theme here, and yet there's like none, which is sad. Yes, this is like the third project. Let's look at the comments actually. I can't never mind. Uh, just questions. All right, here it is. Jam pack nine in one playing cards. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be. It is gonna be okay. Let's let's get on with it, I guess, because I am about to suffer. Okay, th I mean, I'm checking like the uh, <laughs> I'm checking the users in chat and uh, one of the names here. I, well, I'm talking about you know, it does not to be familiar because uh, they had a conversation of this nature a while ago. Anyway, jam pack. Closing Kickstarter starts at $14.50, but first one is Kickstarter, okay, okay, whatever. Nine in the one playing cards. Additional, never have I ever took trivia, would you rather recoup it? Well, I'll be. It's very different than I thought. This is, these are the cards that I at least expect to be in a deck of, uh, you cram into a multi-deck, but here you go. Somehow. I'm gonna do it. Uh, to give you an idea, um, let's see, multi game, multi game playing card. If I just uh, so this is like this one is. I'll give you an idea. So this is so this is an old playing uh, playing card Kickstarter, which is a multi card playing. Like it's just an overkill of games, and. The sort of ridiculous nature where it all is like the main spelling, the main selling point of all this. But this is not what we're going here. We're going for something like the flex deck. Um, there, there ought to be more like this, but the last time I've ever asked on a this on the playing card Discord that I mean about uh, games, multiple game playing cards was like a few months ago, and I think it's too late for me to start asking now. So here is uh, that's that's not what I want. Gosh, here, link. So that one here. This one is pretty minor because it's a domino deck, a playing card deck, and a spelling game. I mean, it's just not just not much, but it is three decks. There's like got to be more, but uh, uh, time to find a field uh, picture.
that's not what I meant. This one here, oh, that's, a, that's an NPC, but the, like this one, someone made these things, but I can't, but there's gotta be more. Just couldn't find them. So, and, oh, this, uh, this one, Cartesian, oh yeah, I think I know this. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, these things here, we got chess and dominoes on the deck of cards. Man! No limits to the imagination, that's for sure. So let's go back to the uh, playing card Kickstarter. Because, uh, of course. So let's look at. Let's see. So there's never have I ever would you rather to be a Twitter just in the wild? Let's see that. So the film will be content over 250 prompts. How do you cram 250 prompts on 52 cards? And they're perfect icebreakers. Uh, perf party starts for any occasion, perfect for parties to get together. So we're trying to win this company. Oh no. It's that. Okay, so you managed to mix playing cards with one of the uh, least sort of. One of those weird genre of games that I have no idea even works. It's the icebreaker game. I've seen that stuff. Um. I can leave, let's say I go to like Facebook Marketplace or even like one of the, and one of the games that like get cheap, gets cheaply uh, copied a lot is flip, uh, is this flipping deck of cards, like these cards can get you drunk, it's like, I don't even know what that is, it's a, every, but you can see that like the essence, like the party game. Like these are the things you like bring apart. Like this is really more of a social nature of a game instead of what? Who know? But still, there still every now and then there someone would someone in this like you know, keyword, let's put it that way, would come around with a game that's basically yeah this is an icebreaker game. And they, it's always gonna, and it's always sold and almost fr and framed in the same way, like get to meet your, each other, get to know you get guys out. I assure you, you probably don't need the help. And I, and I'm not even sure that would work for like, I haven't for like say friend stuff. I've never done anything of that sort. But you know, I don't. But I don't really think that if you want to like get to know strangers and all that, like a stranger if you're in a party or in a, get a gathering, they, they, I don't think it would be a great idea to put it to like do it with you know the freaking. Well, I mean, I mean, probably can. Like you know, that's usually how uh, most of the movies is going. Like you go to the party, you don't know each other, and then uh, the host goes like, "Hey, we're gonna play this thing, and guess what? We're gonna freaking involve you two together." Boom, sparks fly. But that's a different thing. I guess what I mean is that these I don't mm, think these are great. I, I'm always talking that like the efficacy, even the utility of these things, of these sort of sorts of games. I'm like I'm pretty sure you don't. One, you don't need the help, and two, yeah, that's just good. I'm just not. I'm just not a big fan of icebreaker games. You can tell, as you can you guys can probably tell. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm like a <laughs> planning a very nice. Uh, Request somewhere, but probably not. Let me just continue on. So, the campaign, the second larger print of the course of the same manufacturer, one of the most print quality materials and handling was found on the super prejudice. The initial high pain order minimized the negate in the manufacturer is so rich surprised except for principal pool of pump. These are the last cards you'll ever need to buy in your life. No, I, no, they are not. Those are my private cards. Oh gosh, no, please. That, What did I say about icebreaker games ha being s framed the same exact way every time?
<laughs> same thing. Like, yeah, these things. Yeah, this thing. I've seen, I might have seen this somewhere, and guess what? They probably aren't this. It's not even true. Yeah, uh, I hate this. And then they two do there. Okay, so made to be taken anywhere. Well, I mean, it's a deck of cards. What the fuck did you expect? Um, 54 traditional playing cards. Okay. Yes, I never have it ever in the top. Yes, so would you write it down? A rock, paper, scissors thing in the, in, in the corner, and the odds for die roll 1 to 6. I have no idea where you play with it. Just see there's a fucking die in the, on your deck. There's trivia. There's three right there. There's like elimination for jokers. I don't even know what's There's spin the bottle. How that? Gosh, it's, gosh, she thought of everything. Yeah, this is literally like fresh. This is indeed party fresh uh, game thingy. Help. 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 Um, it's a lot of proof, yay. Uh, man, I hate the implication of this. And it's made of a, some sort of plastic, but. There's like 250. Play, t play tested, you won't believe the things you learn about your friends. God, man. It. <sighs> let's just. Okay, let's. Let me be a bit nicer, okay? Sometimes the way. Sometimes the questions that will be here, like, pretty darn. Milk to say, like if it if if it, if this is gonna be like commercially sold, it's definitely not gonna involve questions that are basically sex. Okay, we're pretty darn sure about this. It's not gonna be sleazy, it's gonna be cheesy, and yet we're gonna pretend ha 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 ha. We don't like I like I'm like I don't exactly condone going it like this, but we, we all. But let's just be real, you know. The the most of the time you expect the fun out of such games to be to just either be um you know when you truth or dare when let's say truth or dare you're gonna make him like it's gonna go the bones of such you know making folks do like sleazy stuff to each other or make them admit to some stuff that are a bit more saucy. Goodness gracious guys. <laughs> Uh, pledge levels of uh, this, this, and the making of the game. I mean, <sighs> give me a moment. Okay, hi, I'm Leonardo, graphic designer from Sydney, Australia. The past great new fun of being makes point five. Jam packs for attempting to the market, but this one works back to these games in back of development. What well, if I began to shine up has now become my very first card game? Jam packs have developed over the years, gone through multiple iterations and flight tests until finally landing on its final design of the Lightning Little Playing Cards. My goal was for the cards to be as simple and straightforward as possible. <laughs> yeah, I've done that as soon as the word Australia popped up. I'm so stupid. Uh, plans for more expansion. I wish it continued more expansion. Man, I'm, not gonna, I'm so gonna hate this. So yeah, um, here is so yeah. I think I've always said my issue with this. It's an icebreaker. It's an icebreaker game. That's literally it. But some, but somehow, um, and also the you know some also usual probably complaints I would have about multiple multi playing cards. But the fact that the games involved here are not are you know of the icebreaker genre is like wild enough for me. It, it's what I mean. The, the, the your only downside is that you, it's a nice breaker game. If not for that, you might you might have something in here. I don't know what it is, but uh, okay. I just realized that if, if we took out the icebreaker elements of these things, you'd have nothing. So yeah. Man. here's a little tip to anyone listening. Why is anyone who cares? Don't bother trying to make the old make some make what basically if you're think well, sorry if you're thinking of hooking up the ultimate party game stop don't try okay a lot of games have made for that purpose and let me just say they start sucking the second playthrough around okay good. 
I can accept his chance of playing cards and then cactus desert, the desert casino and then we'll check this one this is uh, on the deck and then uh, dragon deck uh, the dragon blood deck card is going to be decked then Okay, let's continue. Let's start with Chancellor's playing cards. You're gonna pull and custom blind colors. You see anything when you need card cards? Well, we're not doing that. Um, so these are the renders. <laughs> it look, it look, it, it looks like it's a block of metal. <laughs> okay, Chancellor. Chancellor's playing cards is a representation taking risks in life to gain your reward. Explore fully custom casino team playing cards featuring truly unique board cards. Good Paul was originally created to combine two things. One playing card art and two meaningful quotes in ways to live by. That has been done before. <laughs> Man, I've seen so many of these projects that I just know that at this point there is nothing under the sun. <laughs> I mean, I've seen why the one there's like one affirmation that that's been made like that's been cooked up like a couple of months ago. I don't know what happened to it, but. You know, same essence as this thing here. The one of first is can be quote by Randy Pot saying it's not about the card shit, but how you play the hand. It's really the best way to create an art card personify this. Once we create this the first time we just to make a thing to do of cards. Man, I just love the ideas. Oh this does style with a simple thing, guess what? It just escalated. Like that never happens to me. Am I missing in something? Eh. I say I say when like the only reason why I even develop store the stories I have is because hey this is a nice character I want to work with it more it's just and now I can't stop. But like I don't know that feels a bit a bit more different than just having oh yeah we kind of started with this random thing and like damn we can't damn we can, we're too deep into this we should make this a deck of cards. Oh well. A bag of is inspired by classic sure it was worth it to back in circuit seat with fog officialation for playing card design. Very nice, very uh in tune the nose with the gambling theme stuff. Yes. That it is. So the quartz <gasps> Um Sorry I'm just uh, okay. Well custom continue good times feel so the artwork. Sorry, I spelled it in quotes. It looked very street artish. <laughs> Aces, nothing special. Well, the Ace is fake, but this one, not much. Number of cards are fine fits. <laughs> Prototypes on the release can keep future my attention. Map top. Um, Sand Edition. Blue official. Let me explain Cobra chips. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm, I, it's probably worrying that I'm playing around with ideas for, for, for this one. The add-ons will be an extra deck, a golden variant, sticker pack, t-shirts and sweaters, enamel pins, a signed deck. Okay, so here it, so I can't complain, it's fine. It's decent, it's got the Great theming, but I don't. Anyway, it doesn't feel like it. Like I know, like it's obvious because the idea is that this is like a sort of different brand and what's planning. But I guess if this was more street art, like because you know, like you really got this guy doing this, see. You got this nice little graphics that are reminiscent of, uh, uh, like, uh, reminiscent of the uh, street style. And you didn't exploit that fact in here. It's more casino type, and the casino feel, feel is way different than this. But, I guess it's just more interesting. I guess this theme is more of the gambling feel. And the skeletons. What a weird mix. Okay, next up is Cactus Desert Casino Retro Edition. Okay, we've had two limited releases of Cactus decks so far. Wait, uh, I'm getting. 
sorry, but um, I'm like in the SMG for Discord and stuff like uh, stuff's on fire in that place. Let's put it that way. Fun. So, yeah, let me see I get back to stuff. Like a more affordable, affordable limited deck. This deck will be a small deck with 300 decks that will be printed. So the new design looks like this. It looks like a box. It looks like a box of something. The, I, I'm trying to find like a correct kind of thing, correct analogy for this. Either some, it, it looks either like perfume. Or, or at least, uh, um, it's a, it's more, it's more, more like a box of something that you're pretty sure that if you open it is something that your mom bought. <laughs> Anyways, it's really limited to run and PC. Uh, okay. Wait, then so. My design is going to be NPC data for this going quality is two point two compared to when it comes to small print runs. Let's go back in time. It's still the time the character stares at the casino was much younger. So the plastic to add plastic to conversation ties to your next card game. Send it to send the Azure Curio Call the Life Care Scheme of the Unique Field of the Only Part of the Cactus Desert Casino. They look black though. Uh, just like the original casino deck was in the Aces Club for leading Aces deck. Blah blah blah. Spot cards, not much. Court cards, uh, you have collected Oracle Jokers. Uh, look they look like calling cards, or at least they, they look like, oh yeah, I think a good one is like, they look like something I'd see on a complimentary stuff in a box. Like in a hotel. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, thanks a lot for dropping by, Beery. Thank you so much. So, um, where were we? Uh, okay, so big, so yeah, the box is, I, uh, does look like very casino, that's for sure. That's very nice, that's very nice, very nice. And the extra card, mystery, of course. So, I don't know, I might have to learn the lore, but it's an M but my... But I guess the big thing is that it's an NPC deck, and the design, the only unique sort of relative design here is with these things, like... Pips and courts aren't unique either, so... You're pro if you're like interested in backing this, you're already like or you've already backed this guy a few times ago. So yeah. Anyway, see what it is, roll the deck. Uh <laughs> perfect. Okay. So oh it's a book of games because uh, okay. Now that Steve Jackson's pick a card dies is on it's on the ocean. We finally, we finally share all the deck. A book of 11 dice games that you can play the new dice. The standard deck of playing cards. Um, this is a, it's just a... Well, this is it. This is it. Um, it's just this one. So this is just the bag of dice. This is just two dice. That's got this 20 side, 26 side die. I'm not sure how fair that is, but this, uh, the, 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 you know, the suits are on a D4. Not sure about the 26, but yeah, it's just a, I, I expected something, but no, it's just a, just, well, it's just uh, a book of card game, games. So, a book of card game, a book of card a book of games that require a deck of cards and a bunch of dice that indicate uh, that you can roll to have you to, to choose a card with. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Like I'm this interested, but I'm just. Uh, I didn't actually think it's just a book because the the dice are like already in. Oh, it's pretty much gonna be in sale. But damn, I. But if you. But. Uh, in all honesty, I might go. I. 
I kind of like, I, I kind, I kind of like to get all of this. You know, interesting game bits is also an interest of mine. But still, next up is a dragon deck. I don't think it's lunch trade deck. Like I did, yeah, the dragon card is trade deck, man. I, I do like this. I do like it. I do I'm liking uh, the. Uh, I'm liking the uh, graphic design so far. This this the deck screams graphic design so much, man. The seventy three editions, blue dragon guard edition, black dragon guard edition, special pink dragon dog Gileddi edition. And I'm just gonna be here for a while. Eh? I fully customized number card, ace card, with cards black dragon printed using metallic gray and gold ink on both sides. Oh wait, there's games. Um, so yeah. Uh, I hope. I hope I get by. So I think. Well, I'm gonna say B. Uh, usually go BRB, but uh, nah. I'm just gonna go with this. Uh, Uh, you know, I'm just gonna like get to this. So while I try to do the uh, multi duty, oh gosh, I know I shouldn't put that. Um. Yeah, we're gonna put this in the small so I have to do this. So fully customize a core black dragon pig metallic and gold on both sides. Uh fan effect oh with recognition. <laughs> what a funny word to use. Double side pig and buff your amazing gilded version. Voila. So yeah, black and then there's a technicolor. So anyway, where was I? Um the Back design is this one, and the idea is, of course, it's more of a card history deck because you know you do you have this. I I there isn't much difference with the colors, just you know. I I I, I like how ridiculous flat it is. I'm so sorry. Like it's it's probably it's not it's not got the same sort of detail as the freaking uh, usual. Um, Dragon and depictions. It just feels like someone did graphic design version of everything thing. But anyway, oh, there's even oh wait, there's even I think Green Jacks are also of that kind. What the heck? Oh well, let's do it anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, um, Ace. So yeah, the Aces are this one. Joker like this. I think uh, you're supposed to do some effects with the sides and all that stuff. So, you know, I guess uh, you do you. There isn't much. They don't show the pips. Um, they do like, and I have no idea what's gonna look. I don't know if the idea for the uh, face cards are also like uh, you can be used. Yeah, it's for special effects. So, you know, go for it. I guess. Yes, I don't know. It's there isn't much info to get by to do it, and I am doing stupid double duty. That I probably shouldn't be doing, or maybe I should. I could do it, but not in this case. But what the heck do I know? Am I right? Uh, 
Okay, next up is the 19th century bead on the four contents. I think it should. Wow, it actually looks like a big void in here. So, Legends of Inner Earth, Eve. Um, I, I have I done this? I I've done Regnum Hour. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this one here, a uh, classic. I have done that. So yeah, we're about to end, we're about to uh, get to that. So here it is. Um, Antique chromolithograph playing cards with an exceptionally high standard condition. So this is a historical production playing cards. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you see these things, and these are of a limited edition. Very nice. Welcome to the 19th century playing cards history. Um, United States playing card decks. Okay, so yeah, this is a reproduction, a beautiful reproduction that is, and this is more. Uh, Technical historical stuff and yeah, um, Joker system done. So I shouldn't I shouldn't be do I should be playing more than screen. Well, <laughs> doing this stupid thing, <laughs> but I am. So I'm sorry about that. And this is uh, got metallic ink. This is the uh, of course new stuff because uh, you want them fancy. I know there's much to say. It's just a historical deck, and uh, unless they like fuck it, up, fuck with it, which is not a good idea for a production deck. There isn't much to say. Like uh, you know, there's just lithographs, uh, prints, and not much else. It still is a production deck, so go for it. And yeah, that's uh, the excess or just this. Yay. The excess are just you learning things. So well, of course it's fine. Next up is Legends of Inner Earth, War Dirt and Demon Dex. I just love uh, let me just uh, let me just say I guess I just love how this this whole stream just went downhill as soon as I as soon as the uh, prospect of playing Warzone stream appeared. It's like uh, I almost forgot that I'm supposed to be talking. It's great. Still, um here it is, Dungeons Inner Earth War. Perfectly crafted cards, three new dice game, possibility to play any card game, which is what you expect for a deck of cards. The cards use the characters being the Dungeon Thing that they're divided into factions, the Dirt and the Demon. The Beal is my. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm from. Uh, or not. These are just details. So, game world, I don't know. The cards, 55 cards, three games, two dices. Oh boy, the, the word dice is glorious. Or we're just we're gonna get something good out of this. Very nice. Anyway, so four languages: is German, French, and Polish. Mm. I explained why you gotta shit. Uh, I, okay, so the uh, I don't know about the art much, but <laughs> uh. it's. The box is laser engraved. Yay! Um, 
there have to be some. I don't know. There's. I don't know about the R. It doesn't. It doesn't invoke anything to me right now. Probably something special, but like, why must it be played if there's no need? And then there's also this. I don't know. This. I mean, it's probably good. It's pretty decent artwork. It's just some. I guess the theming is not fully there. It, But yeah, that's it. Uh, it's, oh wow, the backs are kind of nice actually, but they're very, but they're considered very. Why are they thick? Oh, they're prototypes, but come on, there are three games in the box and they're special for this one. War account on me. And there's there's just dice factors, okay. Gosh. Oh gosh. Sorry. Place with an. I'm uh, sorry. Place with an eye. Solid. I don't know. I, I this might be good because you're putting standard games with like uh, stuff on it, you know, with dice. I, I'm sure. I'm sure it's gonna look be good. No assurance. I, I don't know. I don't know. What about you? But like, yeah. So yeah, this is just this different text. I I think they're just essentially the same. So there's like no need for any of this. Whatever. And last, but not the last, uh, new version of either Pistol Blame Fights deck, uh, The Untold Story. Yeah. Perfect novel, okay, so, probably, I'm, I'm just gonna skip if this is, uh,
And okay, so black edition, only exact number of units will be produced for all practice of this project. The attack design is information, APC. Like an elegant. I'm not sure about the elegance, but it is dark. The back of oh gosh, this is I, I gosh, I don't like this. Gosh, it feels the style feels so cheap. Gosh, I don't like it. I mean, it might be great artwork or something, but like the way it's a sense, it feels like this is something I'd see like would be sold as cheap merchandise. Man, I I'm probably am better off not touching this anymore, or at least yeah. So figure some situations with I mean the pips are nice, but they're also like feel they feel cheap. I don't know why. And there's this one that I have. I'm better off not sure uh, let's skip through that. So yeah. Apparently, uh, apparently this was a mistake. Apparently it's a mistake to have um, apparently I should have vetted for your stupid card deck. Now I'm pretty darn sure I'm gonna get fucked. Ah, gosh, I keep getting scooped onwards. I should probably end now. Uh, end in a sar sar note, gosh. I got the I don't think I can even upload this without cutting it. I'll probably download it and cut and cut it. But still, let me do, still, you know, thank you so much for dropping by, and there will be a better stream soon, because I'll be playing a game instead of talking like this. Gosh, we'll find someone. I don't know who. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find, actually, screw it, we're gonna, screw it, we're doing this. I don't care. I'm gonna raid the, the one that's been the, uh, the reason I'm already wanted to shoot myself playing words and freaking stream while doing a stream myself. Okay, thank you so much. Good night and God bless.